If you don't know anything about medieval art, you might reasonably assume old illustrated texts featured basic depictions of historical and religious figures. But medieval art is overflowing with absurdity, particularly when it comes to depictions of medieval beasts. Beyond the dragons and unicorns you might be familiar with is a truly insane world of lesser-known monsters, which stretch the imagination with their utter bizarreness. So today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 strangest of these creatures, bearing in mind it was exceedingly difficult to cut this down to just 10. Number 10. Monopod Mythological creatures with a single leg ending in a massive foot, Monopod's name comes from a Greek term aptly meaning one foot. Medieval artists often drew them lying down, with their foot stretched over their head. This comes from a legend that the monopods have a habit of protecting themselves from the sun using the shade cast by their foot, sort of like a natural umbrella. Number 9. Bonacon Though at first glance these mythic creatures resemble ordinary bulls, the Bonacon was said to eject large amounts of caustic excrement at hunters. While medieval texts often communicated moral lessons through fictitious beasts, the Bonacon seems to have no symbolic meaning whatsoever. If anything, it only shows lowbrow humor hasn't changed much over the centuries. Number 8. Sea Monk Ducking just slightly out of the medieval period for a creature I had to include, the sea monk is an organism allegedly captured off the Danish coast, which outwardly resembled a monk in a habit. Supposedly, the account claimed the animal's resemblance to a monk was just a coincidence. The creature had the inner workings of an ordinary fish and just happened to superficially resemble a monk on the outside. Number 7. Salamander this next one might seem like an odd inclusion, since the amphibious salamander isn't mythical at all, but medieval legends of salamanders were, let's say, a little off from the real-life organism. Alchemists believe salamanders were fireproof, which is strange enough, but many depictions of salamanders deviate wildly from their actual appearance. Why so many medieval artists assigned hair and human faces to salamanders is, unfortunately, largely unclear. Number 6. Amphisbean Getting its name from the Greek term amphis, meaning both ways, and bean, meaning to go, this rather amusing monster was a serpent with two opposing heads. According to legend, the unfortunate reptile had difficulty moving around, due to the dual minds tugging it in different directions. Number 5. Shurale the only creature on this list originating in Russia, Shurale is a long-fingered humanoid from folktales who dwells in the woods. Though not too far off from trolls or goblins, what makes Shurale so unusual is its behavior. According to legends, Shurale lures the unlucky into thickets where he tickles them to death. Something about that is genuinely unsettling. Number 4. Snails One of my personal favorites, like the salamander, medieval snails are based on their real-life counterparts, but deviate wildly from what you'd find in nature. Manuscripts portray snails as enormous weapon-wielding juggernauts, menacing knights and helpless villagers. Hilariously, historians aren't entirely sure why so many margins of medieval texts feature these super-sized mollusks. With theories ranging from political propaganda to the snails representing the slow but inevitable approach of death which awaits us all. Number 3. Blemmies Headless creatures with faces on their chests, the intelligent and communal blemmies are another one of my favorites. More so than the other entries on this list, medieval European scholars believe the blemmies to be more than the stuff of fables. Many believe the blemmies were a real species of humanoid living in other parts of the world, to the point where they're featured on several maps, just sort of hanging out. Number 2. The Vegetable Lamb of Tartary We're really in the strange stuff now. The vegetable lamb is a legendary plant which sprouted fruit identical in appearance to sheep. The sheep even contained blood and bones, despite being plants? Holy Roman Emperor historian Sigmund von Herbertstein even went as far as to say he'd heard from too many credible sources to doubt the plant's existence. Although Herbertstein was obviously mistaken, modern scholars actually have a theory that the legend's origin stems from widely circulated misinterpretations of cotton plants. Pretty interesting stuff. Number 1. Gryllus 
I simply couldn't resist putting this little guy at the very top. What you see is what you get with this one. A pair of legs topped with a head, parading in packs around the margins of medieval manuscripts. They're simple, but there's something so fundamentally absurd about the Grillis, especially considering their origin is almost completely unknown. What an incredible, albeit inexplicable, creation. And that's where our list comes to an end. I hope you had fun going on this journey through the bizarre world of medieval monsters with me. Please consider subscribing and leaving this video a like if you enjoyed the content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.